Okay, let's jump right into it. So the way I'm gonna do this series is I'm gonna do it in a bunch of small videos that are kind of bite-sized, and I'm hoping that if any of you uh, you know, need to see a certain part of my workflow, whether it's, you know, texturing or baking or rigging, whatever, you can go to that section and uh, yeah, hopefully it will help you. Um, so feel free to follow along. Um, right now, I'm just going to look at a couple of these free CCO resources. So I've got this model here, um, as well as this uh, fabric texture. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. And what I want to show you is how I actually kind of clean up uh, a downloaded model. So I'm just gonna download everything right at the start. I'm gonna go for kind of a low poly feel, so uh, 1K is, is more, uh, more than enough for, for what I'm working on here. So some of these texture packs you'll see, they have like a whole bunch of stuff in them, um, but really we only need the color. Uh, I don't think we need any of this stuff. I'm not gonna use ambient inclusion. We're gonna use color, a normal GL, and roughness. So we're just gonna have the, uh, the three channels here. Okay, um, so that's done. Um, so I'm gonna find that, dot, that mud eater dot blend file. And what you'll notice like when you work with models that other people create is that they've really customized um, their viewport and <laughs> I'm not a huge, huge fan of that. Um, so what I do, like in this case, I see they have an armature, they've got some lighting, they've got a bunch of different stuff here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to object mode. I'm going to select everything, uh, then just control C to copy. And then I'm going to open a new uh, blend file here. So once I just paste that in, um, the first thing I'm going to kind of work with, uh, I think I'm going to put this into rest position. So we'll do rest position. And then I'm going to find my parts. So all of these components here and select all those and then just Alt P and clear parent. So we're gonna be redoing the armature, so I don't really want any of this, so you can just right click this and delete hierarchy. Okay, so another thing that kind of annoys me, um, <laughs> some of my OCD might be at play here, but I hate it when the text is shown at the bottom. So if you go to the object properties and viewport display, you can just get rid of the name, uh, that name checkbox. So we have this thing going on. The topology for this model is pretty good. I don't really have any major uh, issues with it. What we're gonna try to focus on here is getting all of these parts into one object. So it's just a single draw call. And we're gonna work with the materials and, and stuff like that. Um, so the first thing I wanna do actually is we're gonna look at the UVs. So we go to UV editing and if I select everything and hit tab, you'll see that the UVs are all overlapping. Um, so for baking a texture, that's not, uh, that's not gonna work at all. So what I normally do in this type of situation, I'll just take piece by piece um, each object, and then I will just click on a vertex over in the UV editor, hit Control L, and then we're just gonna move everything um, off to you know one side. We're gonna make sure things aren't overlapping, like even these two are overlapping, right? So when you bake textures, you can't have any overlapping UVs. I think I actually want the eyes to be the same. Like they don't need to, um, we don't need to have different texture space, I guess you could call it for each one of the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring this over um, and then try to align these as best I can.
I would say that's a decent use of the texture space here. Um, maybe this isn't perfect, um, but generally what you try to shoot for, and if you turn on this mode here, you can actually see what's selected. Um, what you try to shoot for is like more texture area on the things like faces um, and maybe clothes deserve a, a decent amount and the eyes need a lot. Um, some of these other interior areas like this doesn't need hardly any texture space at all, right? It's like the interior piece that connects the shoulder to the, the shoulder of the body to the actual clothing. All right, so the last thing I might do here just in this first part, I'll call this like kind of the prep stage, um, is we're going to take a look at the materials and just the material names that are used. Um, the way this model is set up is that each of the parts use the same material slots. Um, so it looks like they did design it for everything to be joined together. That's the hair. These are the pants, I'll say. And these, this is the shirt. Although something tells me like something weird is going on here. Yeah, these are actually the pants. I'll call this pants. And I think this is the shirt. So that something buggy with blender there. Um, let's see. Yeah. So this is the shirt. So you want to get those materials set straight um, kind of from the beginning. And then the other thing I want to do is I actually want to add some materials for the eyes. Um, so we're just going to click on the eyes. We're going to add a new slot. We'll call it eyes. And then I think we need to assign it. There we go. Um, so for the eyes, typically you're going to have, you know, uh, maybe a little bit of metallic, but turn down the roughness, right? So you get, get that kind of glossy look and you can play with the specular and whatever else. Um, but that's gonna be the basic uh, material setup, right? Um, what I do wanna do for each of these is I'm gonna to convert to using nodes. And I wanna use nodes on all these. Like if you go into shading, you'll see that each one of these um, materials isn't using nodes. So we'll do that. And you'll see we're gonna lose all that color, but, but that's fine. Um, yeah. Once again, the way the slots are done is is uh, it's kind of annoying, to be honest. So maybe we'll just hit the button over here. And we'll use nodes on the hair. All right, so everything's done like that. Um, at this point, we can go ahead and join the model. Um, so we still have the same material slots. And what I'll do real quick just to kind of act as a visual aid is we'll go ahead and change the base color um, even if it doesn't, you know, make too much sense right now, we're just going to get some color in here so um, we can kind of see what we're working with. So there's the pants. Uh, here's the shirt and the hair. We'll do like, you know, brown, I guess. And then eyes. We already kind of looked at a little bit. Okay, so I will cut that off for this video here. Um, in the next one, we're actually going to assign some materials to these uh assign some PBR textures to these materials, and we'll go ahead and bake it after that. Okay, so I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.